Okay, Kevin Prince, so here's where the build of the MiG-21 is gonna take place on the pink room with pink foam. <laughs> so anyway, uh, as you know, you know, I build uh, pretty much one, two, two MiG-21s before. So, well, a MiG-21, a six foot MiG-21, and a MiG-21i. Uh, this is pretty much my third MiG, because I actually love the MiG, the, the design of it, the way it looks. But so I'm combining my experience for both, from both of them. Uh, I'll, you know, I'm gonna be going with EDF this time. So as you can see, it's a completely different build. I'm actually trying something different to myself. Instead of doing it the way I did the MiG-15, when, when I did the EDF, you know, try to build the, the fuselage with the sticks and all that. It took, took me a long time. So I decided to go with this other method. And, and so far I'm liking it. I'm already saving a heck of a lot of time. I mean, I'm, I'm probably, save myself about 20 hours already just by doing it this way and that's what i wanted to show you this guys uh okay normally you know this is not this is not something new you know this has been done before uh you cut a bunch of pieces pretty much and put them together but normally people is doing this with this new laser cutters you know and or with good foam cutters you know hot wire cutters uh but i want to show you this because i'm doing it actually in a little bit of a different way <laughs> Uh, well, let's go on how, how I got my, my these shapes. Uh, first of all, the way I got the shape is pretty much, let me find my bucket. This is my main, my main bucket right here, cut out of plywood. As you can see, pretty much is uh, the width of the whole future of the aircraft. And of course, as you get to the nose, from this point over it changes, and from this point back it changes. So it's different, that one is, this one right here. They already glue over here, because I, I want to show you how to, how to cut it. Uh, well, this is the front view of the MiG. Uh, so let me put this one right here. So this this is the, where I got the shape from, from the front view. Uh, like I said, I already built two MiGs before, so I know I know the airframe pretty much. But anyway, uh, I have the way the part of the fuselage right here too that I haven't taped together yet. I just did not need it. Uh, the airframe is pretty much 40 inches long from the end to the tip right here and 41 all the way to the nose cone and the wingspan is about 20 inches wingspan i mean 22 22 inches uh you know after i got my main my first you know shape right here um we're trying to figure out how to cut the foam with you know because i have a foam cutter right here to cut with a hot wire but i forgot my rubber bands and we weren't available to to keep the tension good on it you know to cut to keep a to cut a, a straight cut and as you can see this yeah it's a it looks like a funnel the the back you know See the bottom is fine, but you go to the top, it's, it's tapered like an angle like this, and that wasn't gonna be good for, for this type of project. So we figured out, you know, me and my friend, you know, uh, we actually we look at the scroll. So I, we, we're gonna do it with the blades first. Put it right here, you know, and run it, try to run it very careful along the, the edge of the wood so we won't cut the wood. But then Dylan said, you know, hey, let's just flip the blade over and see what happens. And what happened is actually pretty cool. <laughs> Because when, when you get the foam to the blade, you wait like a few seconds, you know, when you apply pressure, and then the blades get hot, and automatically it starts, it starts cutting the foam. And you know, if you stop pushing, the blades, you know, doesn't have the tension on it anymore, there is no friction, so it cools down. So it's a pretty simple, uh, you know, process, and let me show you how it happens, you know. The blade is backwards, as you can see right here. The teeth are on the back, so you have to be careful on that too. The guards are off too, so let me show you. A little pressure at the beginning just to get it to play hard pretty much. There you go. And all you do, you know, because there is no tips anymore, right there, you don't have to worry about cutting the wood anymore. Uh, it's hard to do it with one hand. Uh, first time I'm doing it with single handed. So I don't know how nice this one is going to be. The cut is through. Okay. Cut is through and just you pull this out of here. And it looks just like if you cut it with a hot wire which we did, you know, we call it as a hot blade. <laughs> so as you can see, we didn't damage our bulkhead and the blade is still good and you see you can touch it. 
as you can feel it's a little bit warm but that's it i mean it doesn't get hot enough to affect the equipment or to burn the foam you know so i think that's great and to cut the inside it's the same thing guys all I, all I do is pretty much i have my drill right here drill a hole uh you know take the blade off pass the blade through it and then just do the same thing i won't do it because you know because uh, uh, it's hard to do it with one hand but anyway uh, as you can see uh like this uh pretty much on this the what i have figured out already i'm gonna be cutting which pretty much I, i'm almost done eight of these ones which is gonna be about five from this point back and three on the front and the rest are about 12 pretty much of the the main shape uh which as you can see all the space i have on the top is pretty much gonna be for the uh for my electronics you know plus my wires and everything uh i'm sorry another thing i haven't mentioned yet too uh this intake right here this part right here is 70 millimeters of course and uh, of course it's gonna taper down and at the front and at the back to to create uh pressure uh, let me go ahead these ones i have them already glued together so let me stick uh, the fan in here so you can, can get an idea see it's perfect fit right there on the 70 millimeter fan and you can see it from in here get some light not too much in here you can see the fan right in there and of course you know this is going to be shaped by hand and like i said this is working a heck of a lot faster you know the than the other method the way i did the mig 15. so okay guys let me continue with the build and i'll show you as i go Okay, at this point right here, you know, after I got this piece glued together, which is pretty much this part of the front of the aircraft right here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and give this part a shape, pretty much the way it's supposed to look like. And then, you know, of course, I'm, I'm gonna start working on this part right here, see, see how I need to build my, my, my battery tray, you know, because I want to interrupt, I don't want to interrupt the, the airflow too much. So I need to keep it as far away as possible from the intake and also something I, I didn't show you how to do yet but I, I'm, I'm i'm gonna show you whenever i do this on, on the tail fan uh you know the intake is small it's, it's actually not 70 millimeters you see if we take my fan over here you know this doesn't fit in here at all it will not go in there uh that is because i, I believe it's what 60 the intake yeah the intake is 60 millimeters but you know it tapers out into the into the 70 millimeters pretty much i'll show you how i do this whenever i do the tail the tail guys and you know so you don't i i'm try, trying not to leave nothing out of here uh, i'll show you how, how i made this transition you know a smooth and nice and pretty much simple the same way with the other stuff but okay guys uh, pretty much what i'm gonna do right now i went ahead and cut me this ring out of plywood which is not perfect really but it's gonna help me you know, i'm gonna glue it right here it, it's pretty much here you see this the 60 on the intake and that's how 10 i want the lip to be because i don't want a big old nose like i did on the mig 15. but anyway i'm gonna glue this right here in place um, i'm going to just go ahead pretty much just use my imagination we can say and look at them pictures and just gonna start shaping all this out so um, i'm gonna show you as i go guys all right so this is the progress right now as you can see it's is the nose part uh, pretty much what i did here guys at the beginning was just cut pretty much chunks off of it uh, you can see right here you know you just, the just cut some chunks off of it uh, i haven't glued a piece of wood yet i'm about to glue it in place because i'm gonna need it now uh you know i cut some most of it you know is straight off and then i i'm just i just use my uh, this blade right here uh from pretty much for a, a hand saw and what I was doing, you know, is put it pretty much laid almost on its sides and just scrape the surface. You can see how, how the foam goes off. You know, in this way, you know, you take a lot of the foam off of it. Uh, and you are shaping at the same time, you know. Uh, of course, you know, you need to make sure not to be so rough so you don't take chunks too big off of it. You can see pretty much the two shapes are already blending into each other. And I have still have plenty of room, as you can see on the edge right there to keep now with the sandpaper. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take 220. Uh, no, I think it's 120. Yes, 120 sandpaper on this piece of wood. And I'm gonna go ahead and sand it. So let me sand it and I'll show you what it looks like after I finish with this. Okay, my friends, so as you can see, I'm through with the sanding. It was actually pretty easy to shape, a lot easier than what I thought it was gonna be like. Uh, you see, I have the plywood ring on the on the nose, intake nose, um, but it's still, I would say a little bit too soft. 
but you know I still gotta got, got reinforce all this you know I'm gonna put like a X not, not exactly a X more like a Y looking uh, bracing to pretty much to hold the, the nose cone and that will definitely help more with the nose part of it so you know we, we have it right here put it together a little bit you know uh, we're almost out of time pretty much guys so you know this is the mic it's gonna be the nose part right here okay we still have a little ways to go but like I say guys I'm already <laughs> I already saved my, myself a bunch of hours doing it this way so I really hope these videos are gonna help you know some of you my friends and motivate you to build your own EDF scratch builds it's not as easy as it looks uh, it's very simple you just have to you just have to get your stuff and you know and do it try it like I said this is the first time I'm trying this this method of, and I already love it like, I mean I, I'm, I'm far away in pretty much on my project I'm far ahead on it uh, looking good looking good so okay my friends uh, thank you for watching subscribe see you next fly